hello and welcome back to my channel so today's look is going to be this robot i found picture on pinterest just gonna add it on the screen now there and linking down the artist below so if you are interested in how i got this look then please keep on watching So first I'm just gonna apply these ear pieces I made with paper and a little bit wood glue on top of them. So applying them on with some prosthetic adhesive. After that I'm taking liquid latex and applying these on the places where it's kinda this robot skin. So on top of the bolt cap and a little bit on top of the ears. So when the latex is dried, I'm just gonna apply some foundation and concealer just to cover everything up with them and the packing real goodly this powder on top of everything. So I received this uh, cream paint from Mesmerize contact lenses and I'm just gonna use it here today and I like to use these green paints when I need to pack on some eyeshadows on top of them. I find it a little bit easier to apply the uh, eyeshadows on the green paint than on the water-based paints. I will also be cleaning up a little bit the lines with just the black paint. I'm using this Morphe X James Charles palette and there is the red shade so blending it on the inner corner and winging it out also using under my eyes and just packing it on a little bit more and making the color what I want it to be but still using just the same red color For the contouring, I'm just contouring my nose and Cupid's bow and a little bit doing this uh, sides of my nose and also like under my eyebrows with this brown color on the Morphe palette. For the highlights, I'm using the palettes, the blue shimmery shade and putting it onto the normal places where you would anyways highlight adding it a little bit more than usually use. On the liquid latex part on forehead I'm just using this red cream paint and blending it out with eyeshadow because the eyeshadow doesn't really that well stick on the liquid latex. I start doing these wrinkles on my forehead and for that I'm using the Mehron's Agu Paints palette and there's the brown so I'm lightly shadowing them using a little bit like more water and a little bit the product and just blending them. Also, I'm using the same Morphe palette red eyeshadow just to shadow these uh, wrinkles a little bit more and also using some lighter and darker browns also there. So I wanted to do this side piece a little bit more interesting and not so straight. So I'm just doing these kind of like folded wrinkly parts on the sides also with just the black uh, water paints. And 
also this biggest wrinkle on the forehead I am just using a little bit the black paint there and just a little bit shadowing it out also I start doing these veins and for that I'm using the Sosu X Gated MOA's palette the Urban Bible there is the unruly shade like deeper red color so I'm just using that and mixing it a little bit with the red and I'm you also I'm checking out how they are in the picture but basically I wanted them to be more visible than on the artwork so that's why I'm doing them quite this dark A little bit highlighting the forehead, so just using white uh, Mehra's paint. And then continuing doing these veins. After all the veins are done, I am gonna do my eyebrows and using the Morphe's palette for the eyebrows. So just using the lighter and a little bit darker browns on there. And I'm gonna do winged eyeliner and using there the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is basically the best liner ever, so I recommend it to all people out there. <laughs> Basically I'm using this for all my face paints and in my normal day-to-day -day life. On top of my eyelid I'm just using the Jeffree Star's Blue Blood palettes. A white shimmer shade and on this forehead uh, folded part I'm using the brown paint and shadowing these kind of like wrinkle things in there so there would be like more texture in it using the white paint just to highlight some of the parts on my face So then I start doing these details sides of my face and kind of like on my cheek where the skin is attached to the robot. So using the same Epic Ink Liner on this and on top I'm just highlighting with some white paint. I'm grabbing a little bit the red and brown eyeshadows and just deepening these wrinkles on the face piece. And I'm gonna highlight my nose even more, so just using the blue shimmer and also the Jeffree Stars palette's white shimmer and then doing this highlighted uh, white line on the nose. Because this bold cap what I'm using is the cheapest 
Pospul plastic one. It doesn't really take any like eyeshadows. It's quite hard to use them on top of it. So this head painting, I'm just gonna only use black and white paint and mix them together to get the nice hue or shadows in there. And also the white was a little bit like fading out, so I used it maybe like three times on top of it until I got the results I wanted. On my jaw piece, I'm just sketching all the lines out with the Epic Ink Liner. And when I'm happy with the shapes, I'm just gonna take the white eyeshadow and just highlighting all the uh, lines or pieces with the eyeshadow. And then taking black eyeshadow and just blending it on to the green paint. And for the highlights, just using the white paint. So the last thing I'm gonna do to the face is add this screw. So just using white paint and then white eyeshadow, a little bit the black eyeshadow to shade it even more, and then lining it with black paint just to clean it up the edges. And now the face is mainly done. Lips are missing, but I'm gonna do them last. So now I just start sketching all this neck and body piece. What I'm gonna do. For the blue parts in my neck and later on in my chest, I'm gonna use this Jeffree Star's blue blood palette and I was gonna actually do it first a little darker blue but changed my mind and mixed it with the lighter blue. On this neck piece thing I'm just gonna use this green paint but I got lazy later on and just used normal paint on rest of the body. Usually I like to mix the cream color with the castor sealer or something so it would be a little bit more blendable. So 
so mainly everything what we gonna do to the chest piece is just to black paint white eyeshadow to highlight and on top of the highlight highlighting even more with the white paint So because my backdrop color is white, I'm just gonna paint everything what's kind of like not the robot part with white. So basically I would blend in to my back color. So for the blue parts I am using this Mehron and Shrine paint and there is this light blue shade and I'm doing these lines to the blue parts just to add a little bit more to them.
you're talking like you think you're royalty You think that I'm afraid But I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away Storm is coming So you better start running We can't control the and now that the party is done also, I'm just painting my lips black and then highlighting it with white eyeshadow. And adding a little bit more highlights with this white paint, basically saying what we have done with everything. <laughs> so I made this dupe things with polymer clay and I'm just attaching them on my neck with prosthetic adhesive so basically this uh, curly piece I just um, rolled it and flattened it out and just put it in my pen like roll it there to get it like that and then I pin it on my head Lastly, I'm just gonna add these DTD eyes grittling white contact lenses on. I have code for them, so I'm just gonna add it on the description below if you are interested on buying some contact lenses from them. So this look is completed, I hope you liked this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and also if you wanna see me create these Halloween types of looks always when I have time <laughs> then please subscribe and I hope I see you on my next video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and Bye!